So next uh, is the Christmas medley again, home from the holidays, the little town of Bethlehem and Jingle Bell Rock.
For many, many years, our lead alto player was a gentleman named Bruce Wenzel. He was a fine player, and he passed away this past year. So, Frank's most recent and maybe his final arrangement for the band is entitled Make Someone Happy, which he dedicated to Bruce. So, make someone happy.
little change of pace now, getting away from the Christmas music for a moment. Uh, we've got Eddie Haywood's Canadian Sunset, which you're going to feature a travel soul from our new super sub Bob Ramsdale. <laughs>
going to have a, a little change to a Latin feel intermixed with swing. So it's uh, a little bit different from the way we usually play. The song is entitled Flamingo and uh, it's arranged by Frank. mentioned a tune before this uh, was a solo from Dick Lafferge and he had a solo on Flamingo as well. Now uh, our version of Guys and Dolls, which written by uh, the Broadway show, written by Frank Lesser, 
And if you'll remember, there was a movie version that starred Marlon Brando and Frank Sinatra and Gene Simmons and Vivian Blaine. So we have a medley now of, if I, if I wear a bell, I've never been in love before, and a bushel in a peck. <laughs> Christmas theme. Uh, we are going to give you Frank's arrangement of the Christmas Waltz, which was written by uh, Sammy Kahn, and a traditional version of Jingle Bells.
take a little break here and introduce the band, although we have a substitute today that I haven't had the pleasure of meeting, so <laughs> we'll ask them to volunteer their own name. <laughs> we'll start on my left on the front row on the baritone sax is Roger Golke from Stone. Next to Roger on second tenor is Jim King, and on uh, first alto, we have Bill Fuller from McFarland. And next to him on uh, second alto is Tom Blankenheim from Madison. And if you've, you've heard Dick Lattridge, you now you know his name, playing lead tenor. And on piano, Laird Marshall from Middleton. The drummer is our own Nikki Sun from Madison. On bass, Ben Holt from, from Stone. On the trombone section, we have Gene Fed and Bush from Madison now. And we met Bob Ramstel on the lead trump trombone today from Madison. He's sitting in for Jerry Stitch, who usually is our first trombonist and MC, but he's off in Atlanta, Georgia today visiting his family. I'm Jim Raber from Madison, and next to me is Bill Payne from Madison. In the back row, we have Don Breyer, Nancy Boyle, who also, along with Nikki, is, uh, features in the Ladies Must Swing Big Band. Which is very, very, very good big band. And then we have Barb Nunn 
from Cross Plains, and Pete McWilliams from Sun Prairie. That's the band. <laughs> no, we're going to play Frank's arrangement of one of my all-time least favorite songs. <laughs> but it, it, it's played, originally it was called uh, A Drummer's Carol, and it was apparently played at the nativity scene. And I've always wondered why anyone in their right mind would pound on a drum in front of a newborn baby. <laughs> but uh, Frank wrote this arrangement that sort of sounded a little like Gene Krupa's solo on uh, Sing 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 in the 1938 Carnegie Hall Jazz uh, concert of Benny Goodman's band. So here we go with Frank's version of the Little, little Drummer Boy.
And again, I'm getting away from the holiday Christmas spirit. We're going to play a very up tempo jazz standard called High Society. Thank you. 
come back to Christmas again. Uh, Frank's arrangement of came upon a midnight clear. Christmas song, which was written by Mel Torme and Bob Wells, and the story I heard was that it was written on a hot July afternoon in Los Angeles when Mel and Bob were sitting around the swimming pool having a few cold ones, and they thought, this is a great time to write a Christmas song. And then the second one will be uh, Irving Berlin's White Christmas, which will feature Nancy on the trumpet.
Thank you.